here on the outskirts of Vegas. Sin City, we're here. Usually people spend thousands of dollars when they come to Vegas, but today we'll only have $50 each to spend in 24 hours. Can it be done? With my experience with Vegas, it's always so expensive, so if I'm able to do anything or get in anywhere, I'll be pretty freaking excited. Usually people do a brunch, some kind of fun thing in the daytime, a Vegas show, dinner, and the nightlife. You gotta ball out, or seemingly ball out. If we could bring all that together within budget, I think we could maybe do it. What are some ways that we can keep things affordable and within budget? Well, I think looking online for deals, so like Groupon's a good resource. Maybe if we make some connections, if we talk to some locals, we can bring our own drinks. Or you bring our own drinks. Are you drinking sunscreen? What the f It's not f Is there alcohol inside the sunscreen bottle? Zero dollars and I can drink it anywhere. Eli, this is Tip one. No. All right, Vegas, woo! We're starting off our morning in Vegas. A lot of people like to go to a brunch kind of breakfast buffet. So can we do that within our budget is the question. So right now we're standing in front of the Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa. The regular price is $10.99 with this boarding pass, which is free, I might add, $7.99 each. So totally in budget, yeah. I think. Well, let's check this out. Look at this. High five. Okay, so unlike Eli, I don't eat meat. So I'm gonna be looking at like vegetarian options, pescatarian options. We have a vegetarian section over here, just for me. I feel like I'm gonna get better picks than Eli, because this is just beautiful, look at this. This is like Eggs Benedict, but with polenta. So let me show you how you properly enjoy a Vegas buffet. First off, I don't mess around. Two plates, bacon, ham, the cheesiest eggs I could find. It's very simple, it's the holy trinity. Red velvet pancakes. This is like Christmas. Totally throwing being healthy out the window. This is called cheese blints. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Oh, look at that. Beautifully seasoned. Okay, this right here, this is why we're here. This is why we do the thing. Bacon, nicely topped. Do I need two plates? They got breakfast pizza. Oh man, what, are you, what is this? Breakfast calzone. A breakfast calzone? I'm going to Italy right now. And the thing is, if you're gonna go in Vegas, you gotta eat like you're in Vegas. I know Salorm's probably eating like some spinach, some arugula. Somehow she found kale here, I don't know how, but she probably paid extra for it. Two plates, two plates, two plates, uh. You got your tour dish sweets, and to top it all off, wow, that's how you do Vegas. I love how like as different as our appetites may be, we came together with the Blitz. With the Blitz. This is a very beautiful thing. Cheers. Cheers. Boom. Awesome dining buffet experience in Vegas. Check. Okay. So we just got out of the buffet, feeling great. My belly's feeling great. So full. Cool. I don't feel like I need to sleep. I have like a lot of energy right now. I want to do something. It'd be cool to do something that's a little bit more local. Something yes. that, you know, isn't so expected of a day out in Vegas, you know? Do you know a place? I think I might. Mm. Here we are at the Pinball Hall of Fame. My name is Beth. I'm here at the Pinball Hall of Fame in Las Vegas. It is a museum that started over 20 years ago. We're here to try to help the community and keep these pinball machines alive. One of my favorite things about the Pinball Hall of Fame is the fact that this not only goes to the Salvation Army, but each volunteer, we get to pick a charity of our choice at the end of the year. Pinball became illegal in the United States for well over 30 years. I don't know if you knew that. I can tell by your faces you did not. What? Was, the only place that these machines went to were bars. So if you won the game of chance, then they would give you a shot or a beer or some type of a drink. Needless to say, the government took an interest in this right away. The original bad boy that Bats with Bone game was in fact pinball. That's, That's right nuts. here. There we go. Uh. Let's go. Oh, I can't forget. Oh my god, it's spin! No! Oh. Oh. oh, Eli, you f up. Uh. Pinball master right here. 50 cents, you're not being very cheap, so warm. Okay, well, you know what? Chill. Fast off! No, you know, when it goes down the side thing, it's just like, it's like not fair. <laughs> we just left the Pinball Hall of Fame. Gotta say, it was pretty awesome. I freaking loved it. So in total, we spent about $9.74, which leaves us with 
$40.26 left. That's crazy. The next thing, what is Vegas without a show? We basically found out that the best way to find a cheap show in Vegas is to look on Groupon. I found one, Comedy Magic Show, for $12.50. So we're here, the magic show's about to start. What? Welcome to the show. And you guys, we're having a great time. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Oh, this dude, you're my man. Special job. Eli, come right over here. We're at this top strap right behind my neck. Go ahead and buckle it up as tightly as you can. Don't worry about me. Nice and snug and easy. Ooh, that's good. I feel like we're best friends. We just got back from the show. It was fantastic. It was amazing. It was awesome. 4026 is what we've got left over so far, minus what we just paid for for the show, which is $12.50. That brings us down to $27.76, which is still pretty good. That's gosh darn fantastic. Right now, we are just trying to figure out what we're gonna do tonight. <laughs> I posted a picture that we were in Vegas, and my friend Bobby responds. She goes to Vegas a lot. And she was just like, just hit up all the promoters and see what club is offering, what performer, who's giving the best deal. Hey, Salorn, you know what time it is? Time to suit up. Time to suit up. Uh. Suited up, ready to go. What we got tonight? Um, so I have some bad news. So um, I talked to the promoter girl, and she's totally down to hook us up with that deal where we can um, have a free dinner and also get into the club for free. The only issue is that she can't get you into the dinner because you're a guy, <laughs> but she can get you into the free club with the table and the bottle service. So that's great. You still get a night of free clubbing with free drinks. But. Wait. Where am I? Where am I gonna go eat dinner? I don't know, but I really want to go to this dinner. It's like a, it's like a feast, yo. It's supposed to be a feast. He's gonna leave me? We're ride or die. I'm sorry. She gonna leave me? <laughs> what am I supposed to eat? We ditch the car. We ditch the car because we're gonna be drinking. We gonna be drinking. Gotta stay safe, kids. Remember Responsible. that. Responsible. But for only eight dollars, you could do public transportation for twenty-four hours. Yep. So that's so. what we're gonna do. Turn up. Mm, minus eight dollars. Minus eight dollars. It's the on budget. Salorm having fun? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't care. I'm not thinking about her at all. It's whatever. Sure, I'm a little jealous, but these tacos are goddamn delicious. Oh my god. Honestly, he's probably not even having that much fun. You know? What kind of feast is that? Free feast? It can't be that good. Can't be that good. We're about to get dessert. It's so cute. I'm done with dinner. I'm done with the shrimp. We're gonna head to the club and meet Eli. And hopefully he's not mad that I left him behind. Yay! I'm gonna prove Salorm that I don't need her and that I could get into this club without her. I'll make it happen. Watch. We're skipping the line. Life is good. Life is so good. Last night 
So we're gonna tally up and see how much we actually spent yesterday. So we're starting at $7.99 with a brunch buffet at Red Rock Casino and Spa. And then the next thing we went to was the Pinball Hall of Fame, which only cost us a dollar and 75 cents. We got to enjoy a dope ass How Many Magic Show with Nathan Burton. That was exactly $12.50 with Groupon. With public transportation, that is an additional $8. After that, I spent $10 for an amazing dinner and VIP and a night up. So I'm at $40.24. I had two tacos, 225 each, so that is 450, leaving me with a total of $34.74 after it was all said and done. How do you spend after less than bottle service after oh. everything else? Vegas. Boom. Boom. We both have money to go gambling at the airport. I'm like actually out of money after this. 25 cents left, we're gonna get it, okay? 25 cents left, we're gonna get it. Oh, I was really close. Oh, Who has more money? No one. Eli, you, Eli, you, you have more money.